it's been way too long since I last rode this bike. Actually, so long that I've been forced to wash the dust and dirt off of it. But today, we're going to change that. After I'm finished cleaning it up, I'm going to load it up, and we're going to head out on a little mountain bike adventure and to enjoy some nature. Once we get to the location, I'll tell you more about it. But if you'd like to join me, there's just one thing to do. Let's grab your bike and come along with me. Welcome everyone to Hillside Park. Myself and the bike did make it safely to our destination here. This is in South Abington Township, which is a part of Clark Summit. And I'm gonna explain why I want to come here. So the bike is ready to go. It's all cleaned up, aired up the tires. And we have a beautiful area to do a little mountain bike adventure and to enjoy some nature. Now there's a little bit of history related to this park. Now this originally, prior to becoming a park, was 100 acres of state-owned farmland. And I believe sometime in the 80s, they turn it over into a public park and they've done numerous upgrades over the years. I mean, they actually put a lot of money into this park to make it how it is today. It's actually a pretty neat area. I'm on one of the public fishing docks here. It's a little shaky, but they got a bench here if you want to sit here and enjoy the views. But what we're going to do is there's actually a half mile loop that goes around the entire lake. It's paved for the most part. But then when you get into the woods, which is the nature area, it's a boardwalk. They constructed it all out of wooden planks to make your way through the woods, which is a pretty neat way to traverse a wooden, I should say, woodic scenic area. On top of that, too, there's actually some trails that go up in the hills there. Uh, they range from easy to moderate difficulty, nothing too strenuous, but they either loop around or they connect up to a dog park further up the hill. Up there, there's playgrounds, uh, soccer, baseball fields. We'll show a little bit more of that once we get over there. What my plan is, is to ride around and show you things along the way, talk about, you know, what I'm able to point out. And once we do that, I'm gonna do another loop without talking, just riding the bike around, and you guys will be able to kind of experience it for yourself as if you're riding the bike. I'm gonna have you mounted on my chest, and it'll be a nice view to be able to make our way around. So. We're gonna go around at least twice, maybe more, we'll see how it is. But there's not too many people here. It's a sunny, gorgeous day, a little bit breezy, and I'm ready to head on the mountain bike and do a little adventuring and to enjoy some nature. So let's get started. All right, here we go. This is the start of the trail from the parking lot area. Nicely paved, but still a lot of foliage and nature alongside of it. It's gonna be a little bit noisy with the highway next to us here, but we're gonna also get close to the shoreline where there is uh, areas to stop and do some fishing. And we're gonna be behind the tractor. So here's one of the areas here you could do some fishing if you want to. They do have a bench that's knocked over, but uh, you could probably see some nice views of the lake from here. Let's see if I can sneak by over here. It'll get a lot quieter and more peaceful once we get to the other side. wooden bridge here serves as like a type of culvert for the overflow to go under 
And I'll show you here for a moment. Off to the right here is one of two fields for a ball. I think either softball or little league, but there's two of them there, which they are lit it, lit it, lighted. <laughs> there is lights there. Uh, there's a parking lot there up on top. There's a soccer field that's lit up. And that it was actually really a lot of money put into that field. They really did a great job on it. There's also a big playground up there too. Over here is the second little dock. They call them piers on the website, but they're just basically docks. They're aluminum with some uh, things to float underneath them. So you got one over there, one here, and another one over there, which I believe that one is handicap accessible. Once we get over there, I'll give you a, a look from the top of it. We'll take a walk onto it. I do have public restrooms here in the building to the right. They're open to the public. There's picnic tables situated around, even some seats, like some Adirondack chairs. And they do have uh, pavilions here, such as this one straight ahead of us that you could rent out for special events, private use. There's also canoes here too, which I believe you could get permission to use. But I love the, not only the scenery, but how they have seats and chairs and benches and picnic tables all scattered around, making it, you know, really peaceful spot to take a break, have lunch, a picnic. So we'll take a walk onto here. This one, yeah, is handicap accessible. There's railings on it. It's wider. And here we are directly across where we started, straight over there. We got some nice benches here. Take a seat. Yeah, day like today, I could sit here for a couple hours and just, you can read a book, do some fishing, whatever you want. Just enjoy the day. But we're gonna be heading along the trail further and we're gonna get to the best part of it, which is the boardwalk. You guys are gonna really love that. Nice day to be out. Yes, it is. I forgot to show you too, they have a fire pit here, which I think is relatively new. I was here a few years ago. I don't remember seeing that, but they do have a fire pit constructed with a place to put the logs, picnic table next to it. There's a playground off to our right here. I'm going to twist over to show you. That's not the main playground. This is just like a little one situated here. There's a big, nice one up further. Now over here they have some pretty neat, I guess you could call them sculptures. These are carved out of tree trunks. So there's a gnome here with an owl. His hat or head is like a, a roof and a chimney. And then over here is a, a gorgeous one with a bald eagle on top an owl and a black bear. I know you probably, probably can't see it too well. I'm gonna snap a few photos, but pretty awesome that they were able to, you know, salvage the tree trunks and make something beautiful out of it. All right, continuing on, back on the trail. Still paved here. There is a little spur, I guess you wanna call it, going off up towards the soccer field. And on the left-hand side here, more benches, picnic tables. And from my understanding, this is all taken care of by volunteers. There's a joint effort of volunteers that come here and maintain the park, do any necessary repairs or upgrades. Now here is a sign for Dog Park Trail, Hillside Trail, Wilderness Trail. So there's a trail that goes off. Once you get there, it does kind of split off and you could go different directions. I think the hillside trail loops back around to the parking lot. And up here is where the boardwalk starts. So a little bridge we're going over and now this wooden boardwalk is here and you ride walk on it for the entire way around until you reach the parking lot area. How neat is this? 
They have signs along the way about wildlife animals. Tons of wildflowers, as you can see. But this is so cool. Going through a nice shady area here. This is my favorite section here. It's a straightaway. You got the logs and the trees. Nice clearing. They did a great job constructing this. And it's wide enough for a wheelchair. It is handicap accessible. This is why I was excited to come here and do this little mountain bike adventure for this particular location because of this. Not too common you see parks and trails with boardwalks. Now there's a hillside trail right there off to our right. Comes down and just up ahead here will bring us back out to the parking lot. And now we are back to pavement. And as we head out of the, the woods here into the opening, off our left here, there's a little seating area. It is constructed out of stone pavers. Some of them do have some names and information like in loving memory of Waverly Lodge. And they have benches. There's a wooden carving of a thing, a herring. A little like garden type area here and the lake itself. Here's a look at the herring, hopefully you can see it. Kind of has his neck and his head twisted down towards his body. And then I have like the, um, what you see in the background there. I forget the name of them, but you know what they are. Those things you could soak in kerosene, use them as torches. All right, so right now we're gonna do another loop around the entire thing. I'm not gonna do any talking at all. I'm just gonna have you listen to the natural environment, the sounds that I hear, and the sights that I see. So enjoy your ride.
on your left. Thank you. So that was a look at Hillside Park for my little mountain biking and nature adventure. What did you guys think? Did you have fun doing that? I actually had a lot of fun. I mean, as I said in the intro, it's been way too long since I've ridden this bike. And now that I got out and did it, I want to do more. So I'm going to be looking forward to your feedback. Let me know how you thought the video came out. Did you enjoy the view mounted on my chest as if you're riding the bike? Did you like the side view action shots as if you were maybe at the park watching me ride around? You know, whatever you think. Uh, I'd like to hear your feedback and input if you'd like me to do more videos like this in the future of other parks other riding trails or just little mountain bike adventures Feedback will definitely help make that decision for me. I'm gonna do it regardless But I always enjoy bringing you along, but you know if you enjoy this type of stuff It's something I could definitely incorporate more in the future. I have a bike. I have areas to ride I might as well go out and do it, right? Also too, the word I couldn't think of before is cattails with the little things you stick in kerosene, I like them as torches, cattails. It just came to mind now as I'm looking at them. But uh, Hillside Park is a pretty fantastic park. It's not too big, but it's big enough that you can get away to some quiet spots where there's picnic tables, benches, unfortunately loud trucks, but you know, fishing, little hiking trails, uh, soccer, baseball, playground, I mean a little bit of everything for everyone here. But my favorite part is that boardwalk. I've never seen another park like that. So extensive, so well built, going right through the woods like that. If you guys have a park near you that has a similar type boardwalk like that, comment down below. I'm sure people love to hear about it. But having that here makes it so accommodating to people of all ages, ages, ages and skill levels. And even people with disabilities can come here and enjoy the park, which is pretty awesome. So with that said, I'm going to get packed up, grab some lunch, and enjoy the rest of my gorgeous day here in Northeast Pennsylvania. So like I always say, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.